guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Ashton Alonso. It's your girl, who Ashton Alonso. Yeah. Per. So let me tell y'all today, today, bitch, we finna learn how to install a wig, okay? For all my beginners, all my newbies, listen up, listen up. This is a motherfucking PS. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all or showing y'all how I install my wig. For beginners, you know, really quick, simple, and easy. Don't take too much time. It's just boom, 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 and boom, 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 period. Before we get into this video, though, I just did want to talk a little bit about this hair. This hair is from Ali BFF one I think, on Instagram. I'm not sure, but it'll be, like, right there. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. They sent me three bundles of 24 inches and a 20 inch frontal. I did go ahead and cut this um, wig. I made it myself and I cut it into like a, y'all can't see. So I cut it in like a blunt cut. Super cute. It's really natural looking. Looks like it could be my own hair. You probably didn't even know it was a wig. I mean, you did, but like you get what I'm saying. Yeah, this is some really bomb hair. It's super soft. Super sleek, it's thick as fuck, okay? I only use two and a half bundles. And it's so thick, y'all. Look at it. It's so thick and pretty. I love this hair so much. I think I really love it because the cut. But nonetheless, this is some really bomb hair. Super good quality. If you're interested, make sure you check the description box for the details and the link on this hair. I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna get right into the video. Bye, bitches. Oh my gosh, I have an egghead. I got an egghead. All right, so right now, I got my little wig cap on. I'm about to just cut it so it could be looking like scalp under my wig. Make sure you're cutting out your ear holes too. Don't forget your ear holes. They're important. Okay, so now that we got our little ball cap, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some free spray because this little white line, like the little piece of cap, you don't want to see this little white line through your wig because the lace is like transparent, so you can see through it. You're gonna melt that down with some got to be free spray, and you want to make sure you have your blow dryer on standby because once you spray it, your wig cap is gonna start to lift up, and you don't want that. You don't want it to start lifting up, so you want to make sure you got your blow dryer and you got your comb on standby so you can lay that bit down. And boom, just like that. That's how you clear it out. I let it rain, I clear it out. I let it rain, I clear it out. And it's gonna leave like a little residue. You don't like that, you don't want that. So you wanna take some alcohol. I have 70%, I need to get 99% because y'all were saying in that one video where I was like, I'm going bald. And the issue was that my alcohol it was isn't 99% or something like that. I need to get some, but. For right now, this is all I got. I'm taking my little Q-tip and I'm just cleaning up the residue. So now I'm gonna take my wig. I'm gonna measure it on my forehead to make sure like everything is intact. So you see how it's like so transparent? You can see through it, but you can't see my wig cap. You know? This is some bomb lace, y'all, and some bomb hair too. Shout out to Ali BFF1. They put your girl on. Okay, so I haven't told you guys, but recently I changed like my glue method. I don't use like the really hard glue anymore, like the really strong glue that you want to use when you keep your wig on for like a week or two weeks, you know what I'm saying? I really only be wanting to keep my wig on for like two days, three days, four days, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing too crazy. So I moved back to my got to be glue, the black kind. I just feel like all that strong lace glue and all that stuff is just uncalled for. You be giving me a tan line and all that other stuff. I don't need none of that. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. I don't need it no more. That was the old me. I'm done with her. I'm done with the lace glues. I'm done with all that. So I'm going back to my got to be styling gel. It works just as good. It keeps my, you know, my lace laying down. I'd rather that than the lace glue be 
because this lace glue is just too strong. He's taking my edges out, and y'all know I love my edges. Okay, who don't love their edges? Who wanna be bold? Not me, the fuck? Oh, this is about to be so bomb. I just know this is about to be a bomb install. Yes. Literally just the same thing. You take the glue, put it on. I use about two to three layers. And yeah, just do what you do. Okay, so this is my third layer. It's not completely um, tacky yet, but what I like to do is put my lace down before it gets like completely tacky. So I like to do that and then I like to just basically glue it down that way. Okay, so it's not completely dry yet. Yes, yeah, so the lace isn't, hold up. So it's still not completely dry yet. That's the only thing about this glue. It takes a really long time to completely dry. Or it could just be that I put like five fucking layers on it. What do you expect? It's gel. That's pretty much all that I do and it's quick, simple, and easy. Like one, two, three. I'm gonna go finish this other side of my wig and then I'll be right back. Y'all, yeah, it's so hot right now. I'm trying to pin my hair up and the girl won't even stay. Okay guys, so now it's time to cut the lace. I was wrong about the whole, well you can't really see on this side. You can't really see my wig cap through this side. But baby, through this side, girl, you can see it and I'm upset. Oh, this razor real nice and sharp. I like this. Should I zoom you guys in? Do you guys want to see? I'm going to zoom y'all in. Don't be shy. Eat some more. You know, it's time to cut the ear flaps. I don't really like doing this, but you know, it's a must. You gotta do it. We'll take some scissors. You wanna make sure you cut it enough so that it's not like sitting on your ear. It's gonna be very irritating. Make sure you cut enough off because it'll hurt your ear. Now I'm gonna take this got to be free spray. I spray my hairline so that this white line could go away. Okay, so I think I lied to y'all. Thought this was transparent lace, but turns out it's brown lace. This is why it's so dark. 
on me. I don't know if you guys could tell. The lace is like really dark. Even though I am brown skin, um, I'm more on the lighter side of being a brown skin. This brown lace isn't really for me. I'm gonna put some baby hairs in it and all that and I'm gonna finesse it and make it work. I'm back. And I'm about to do my baby hair. I'm tired of doing this hair already. I just wanna be done. I'm gonna take this little razor and just shave this hair. This is the hair that I'm gonna be using to create my baby hair. I'm gonna take my Eco Styler Gel and a toothbrush. I'm not trying to do too much with my baby hair because I still want it to be natural looking, but I also want to have some baby hair, you know? Sometimes you gotta just keep playing around with it till you get the perfect shape. Okay guys, so I'm back from doing this side of my baby hairs, you know, period. Had to do what I had to do. Finesse. Call me the finesse key, okay? I did, I just finesse the fuck out of these baby hairs because it was not looking too good at first. It really sucks that this is brown lace because it's just like a little harder to blend on my skin complexion, but I made it work. I'm about to go ahead and finish this side. And then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm finally back. After so long, this is my hair. I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna take this free spray, spray a little in my hand, put it together, and then smooth out the top of my hair. I like to do this because it flattens it and it also gives it like a little shine to it. Yeah, this is pretty much it. I love how I cut this hair. It's like a little blunt cut. I don't know if I mentioned, but this hair was 24 inches. I got three bundles of 24 inches, and then I got a 20 inch frontal. But yeah, this is my hair. Super cute. I can't get over it. I love this cut on me. Make sure y'all go check out Ali BFF Hair on Instagram. They're also having a giveaway right now. Y'all could go win some free hair clips, accessories, and all that other stuff. So make sure y'all go check them out. If you want the deets and all that good stuff on this hair, make sure you check the description box because the link will be down below. This is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was helpful to my beginners, to my learners, to the people who don't know nothing about no wigs. I hope this helped you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.